Hey folks, I wanted to share my absurdly over-engineered LED arc. I have this wide wall-to-wall -wall plywood uh, desk at my home office, and I always was looking for a better lighting solution to illuminate my work. And finally, I saw several arc uh, designs on the web, and I finally had some time to do one for myself. So in this video, I'll be reviewing the main features of a lamp, how it works, main components, etc. Okay, so the arc itself is made from aluminum, actually two layers of aluminum riveted together. Inside there is an addressable LED strip. It's anchored to the wall with these plywood um, triangles on both sides. On the second side, on the left side, you can see uh, a small tube. The wiring goes through this tube below the table. Assembly was designed to be as simple as possible. The wooden triangles are anchored to the wall with screws, and the aluminum arc simply slides into slots in these triangles. Okay, this is a footage of the bottom side of the table. You can see a power supply box, as well as a microcontroller inside that box as well. And this knob is the main control of the lamp can rotate the knob to control different parameters of the lamp and you can press a push button to cycle between three main modes. I embedded magnets both into the knob as well as the table so you can disconnect the knob from the table and move the control to above the table if more convenient. Okay here's a better footage of the knob now on the top side of the table. You can see I kept the same plywood aesthetics for the knob as the triangles and again you can see how it rotates and the button can be pushed. Okay so let's see how it works. The first mode controls the position of the illuminated area. You can move it left and right. Pressing the button once now changes the control to the second mode. This controls the size of the illuminated area. You can control how wide the illuminated area is. Pressing the button again changes the mode now to the third mode, which controls the brightness of the strip. That's all folks. I'm really happy with the result. I'm using this lamp a lot and I'm using all kinds of different um, illumination modes. So I'm using it quite often. And last thing, if you thought this wasn't over-engineered already, I couldn't avoid adding an Easter egg, a hidden feature. To the lamp. You enter Easter egg mode only when three conditions apply. First, you have to minimize the size of the illuminated area to a single pixel, single LED. You have to move the illuminated area all the way to the side, to one of the sides. And last, you have to press the button for 10 consecutive seconds. And only when these conditions apply, you can play Pong, a one-dimensional, solitary version of Pong, but still a nice feature. This concludes this feature review of my absurdly over-engineered LED lamp. I'm really happy with the results. I hope you also like this design and feel free to get inspired and make your own version. And thanks for watching.